this is a how-to video to put a starter on a 2007 Honda Accord see they have the starter see right here I got it under here and it's a uh, um, Tufla job and I was trying to um, show some shortcuts of how to do the job without taking a loose all the different material see here is the starter I just wired the starter up there's the uh, knock sensor there I, I broke that so I had to replace that and uh, because the uh, all the heat uh, damaged the knock sensor so there's the knock sensor there new starter in already wired up all my connections are there so now I'm going to show you this shortcut I took because I watched five or six different videos and I was seeing people taking off all this different stuff here and uh, this is what I how I disassemble it I just took loose the exhaust here dropped the exhaust back I didn't take the uh, reserve off here I didn't take the the uh, mapping sensor off I didn't take the air box off I left all that connected so I wouldn't have to take pictures and try to remember all the different stuff I disconnected so I just disconnected this little bracket here the throttle body see those two screws right there I took that loose then I disconnected this hose here from the intake manifold and then I disconnected um, another airline here see it here I put it back I disconnected it from the intake and I moved the other bracket over of the airline over to the side so now when I come back I'll show you a symbol and um, it's, it's hard to get to that bolt on the bottom there it's a 17 millimeter it's a 14 on the top I kind of had a little problem with that but you have to kind of wiggle it in and hold it with your hand and set it up make sure it's in the housing tight See, because you're not in the housing tight you mess up your flywheel so just be careful take your time and just assemble it the way you you know see fit but I saw that was a easier way to do it because everybody else was taking off all this different stuff and they were saying like this is what you have to do to get the room it's a little tight now you have to wiggle it to get it in and out but it's uh still a way to save you some time when you get to reassemble everything so when I come back I'll have it reassemble and uh, I'll crank the car and check the knock sensor to see if the check engine light comes on and after that I'll let you know how everything came out but this is uh, my way to shorten the process of taking off so many different things and making the job a little simpler I hope this video comes in handy with you when you're, you're doing your mechanic work subscribe to Carlos Hall YouTube channel thank you and I'll be back with the results